Hey everybody, it's Marty from Aspect LED. I keep getting asked, Marty, how do you solder on an RGBW strip light? There's so many little points, how do you keep the solder from touching everything? Well today, we're gonna show a quick video, show you how to do it. All right, so we're going to start soldering. We have everything that we need. We have a soldering iron. Make sure that the soldering iron can get to at least 700 degrees Fahrenheit. We have silver based solder that's safe for electronics. We have our lead wire, which is RGBW five wire strips. We have a knife for cutting back the silicone on the strip light. We have electrician's tape. We'll use that to hold the strip in place. We have our RGBW waterproof W series strip light. We have RTV silicone, and we have our silicone end caps that we'll use at the end to seal everything off nicely. Okay, let's prepare our strip. So we've got the strip right here, and to prepare it, it's essential that you start with a fresh, nice cut. And so we wanna use this cutting line, which is right through the solder tabs. You wanna make sure you have a nice, clean cut through that. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my nice, sharp knife and cut right through the line. Okay, now that we've got the strip cut off, we're going to make another cut, but you don't want to cut all the way down to the pad. We're going to cut just inside of the curve, the radius. We want to try to cut off the very minimum of the waterproof seal that we can, because when we're all done, we want to protect this strip. So we're going to make a nice cut. Notice I'm not cutting all the way down to the bottom. I'm going to peel that back, like that. And cut the back side off again. I'm not cutting all the way down to the actual strip, just cutting short of it. Now you want to clean off those solder pads with your fingers. See how I'm getting a little bit of the protector off there? We're also going to trim this off so it's nice and flush. There we go. Some things that I like to do to help myself when I'm soldering is to take a little bit of electrical tape and hold the strip down with it. We're also going to take our strip, lay down a little electrical tape, that'll help as well. You wanna make sure you're getting the object that you're soldering hot first. You don't wanna just take your solder, put it on the iron and drip it on, because that'll be a cold joint. You wanna to touch the soldering iron right to the tab, and I'm gonna do the hardest one here first. and just get that solder to pool on the little tab, just like that, look at that, beautiful. Get it to pool on there, look at that, beautiful connection again. Okay, we have preloaded the pads on the strip, now we are going to tin the leads. And to do that, you just touch the iron to the tip of the wire, and just hold it on there long enough to get a little bit of solder on it. All right. Now that we've tinned the leads, I like to take and trim off a little bit just to keep our wires short so we don't have a lot of exposed wires. Okay, my leads are tinned now and we're going to solder them onto the solder pads on the strip. We're going to bring the two together. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to attach the black wire to the V positive, or says 24 V plus on the strip. You want to touch the iron to the pad and then touch the wire to there to make the attachment. You only want to have the iron on there long enough to make the pad melt and then it's attached. As soon as you've done that, we're going to work from uh, right to left or from top to bottom here and we're going to attach the green wire to the green lead touching my iron to the pad and making the attachment. Okay, we're attaching the blue. We already got the red, and now we're gonna attach the final white wire to the white connection here. Just touch my iron to the pad and kind of roll the wire right into the connection. Make sure it's a good solid connection and pull the iron off of there, and there we go. Okay, now that we have all of those pads, you want to test it. So we test the green connection, and now we're going to test the red, that works. Test the blue, and test the white. Everything looks great. 
Our final step, now that we made sure that all of our wires work and that everything lights up, is we need to reseal the strip. And to reseal the strip, we're going to use one of our silicone end caps, which I've already slipped up over to the wire here, and some RTV silicone. And we're going to take and fill this little cap up with the RTV silicone. See that right there? Fill that up. And spin that around. Coat it all nice. We just slip the cap right over everything. See how the silicone is kind of beating up over everything? You want to just leave that. Don't touch it. You can let that set for 24 hours and that will be re-waterproofed and ready to go. For other tech tips, please like and subscribe. Hey, thanks for making it this long. Uh, we've got a lot of cool content coming your way, so please light up that subscribe button.